Hi, welcome back to Motor Performance. I'm Mike behind the camera, it's Jay. Welcome to episode three of BMW 320 SI restoration detailing project, let's call it that. Um, I've actually been out all day long in meetings, so let's go see what Martin's been up to in the detailing bay on the car. I want to do a few 50-50s just so we can see how bad this paint really is. Uh, and show you the big fours and afters, really. Everyone loves a 50-50, really. Yeah, because we're going to do it, what, maybe bonnet, we're going to do yeah. boot lead, we've got a hard scratch as well that we're yeah, going to do a 50-50. Yeah, hard scratch, which we're going to half down and then see the before and after. We want to try and get as much out as we can. But, yep, and then know. maybe some of the gloss black trims that Yeah, on the, gloss on the black side. trims, we'll do bonnet, we'll do a nice little patch on here, uh, and we're going to take some uh, paint depth readings. Yeah. Welcome guys, we're down here at MoTeC. Um, I'm Dr. G Tech and we're just gonna to talk to you about some of the coatings that the guys here at MoTeC Detailing use. First off is the C5. Um, the guys here use this and apply this to pretty much um, any wheel that goes out of the business. Uh, this C5 is a fantastic coating. It's a quartz-based coating. Uh, the benefits of applying a quartz-based coating to wheels are, it offers a great chemical resistance. So when you're using your wheel cleaners, um, it offers great resistance against that, so it doesn't degrade, makes your wheels a lot easier to clean as well. Dirt just sticks to the coating, and then when you come to, to wash the wheels, it hoses straight off. It, offers all, uh, it also offers great temperature resistance. Um, so this product, highly, highly temperature resistance, which is exactly what you want from a wheel coating. So C5, it's all about protecting your wheels, making them easier to clean. Also means that you need to scrub less, because that dirt, is sitting on the coating and not bonded to the wheel. When you come to using wheel brushes, um, wheel woolies, any sort of microfibers, the dirt comes off a lot easier. So you're gonna reduce any chance of scratching and swirling. C5, little tip, you can actually apply this to brake calipers as well. Um, so any painted brake calipers, um, that can be applied to. We'll then take a little look at our Crystal Serum Light. The Crystal Serum Light offers a, a, a five year or up to five years worth of protection. Um, this is traditionally and should be applied to paint. Um, it's a composite coating, so it's a little different from traditional quartz based coatings. Um, it's just as easy to apply. Uh, in terms of how the product works, you just put a small amount onto the pet, put it onto the, uh, onto the applicator pad and then work it across the surface, whip it off um, straight away, don't allow the product to dry. Um, so essentially it's very easy, apply it, very easy to remove. The critical thing with Crystal Serum Light and all ceramic coatings is you need a good foundation to apply that coating to. So when you're detailing a car you need to make sure you get rid of all of the swirls, all of the scratches, all of the hazing. You want your paint crystal and optically clear before you put uh, the ceramic coating on. Crystal Serum Light is optically clear so you need to bear in mind that any imperfections that remain after you finish polishing, you will see that through the, the, the ceramic coating. The Crystal Serum Light is about making life easier. Um, what does that mean? It means that when you wash your car, the dirt doesn't stick or doesn't bond um, as harshly or as hardly to the paintwork. So the idea is it makes maintenance of the car a lot easier. The car becomes a lot easier to wash, a lot quicker to wash. So the theory is, is when you hose your car down with your pressure washer or your hoses, um, a large proportion of the dirt falls off before you then have to get your wash mat out. So the idea being is no hard scrubbing is required. In terms of durability, so long as you look after the product with good maintenance products and don't use harsh chemicals, you can get up to five years worth of durability on the Crystal Serum Light. As a topper, we've got our XOV4. So this is just a pure hydrophobic coating. This is focused on water beading and dirt repellency. Um, 
both very, very strong characteristics of XOV4. The dirt repellency is fantastic. Again, it's all about getting that mud, getting that dirt to blow off through the, the, the rinse rather than getting the wash mitt and it, it, it being stubborn to remove. So EXO in terms of um, application, that normally goes on top of the Crystal Serum Light. If you're putting the EXO on top of the Crystal Serum Light, you need to leave it at least an hour before going over the top. Um, EXO has a durability of anywhere between 18 to 24 months. Again, that depends on how often the car's washed, what sort of chemicals you're using. So we'll need reapplication um, every couple of years or so. And then you've got the G1, the Clear Vision Glass. That is a hydrophobic uh, glass protection. Essentially, that's about making your, your windscreen super beady. Um, so the water, as soon as it lands on the windscreen, it blows straight off. Uh, doesn't mean don't use your wipers. We always re recommend having your wipers on, but the idea is that there's less water left on the surface, so you don't suffer from water spots, and it makes your glass a lot, lot clearer um, and keeps it looking gray. In terms of coating, um, this is a little bit more difficult to apply. You do need three layers of the product. So again, we recommend that if you haven't done it before, we get, you get your local detailer to at least do it for you or to show you how to do it. Um, we also have a full set of instructions on our website on how to apply it. But once it's on there, you've got around about um, 20 to 24,000 miles worth of protection um, on your front windscreen. We recommend this for front windscreen and for front glass. Uh, for side glass and rear windscreens, we've got a, a different product called G5. So that's a, that's a slightly less durable product. Um, we recommend G1 for front windscreens because you've got those wipers moving backwards and forwards. And the G1 is a lot more resistant to the abrasion of those wipers moving across the glass. So, uh, gobsmacked. I've just walked in and seen it. Um, it doesn't look like the same car. I'm amazed how well this car, the paint has come up onto it. Um, there was a nasty scratch across the boot lid. Um, Jay's already told me he got some before and after V-Roms and 50-50s. That scratch is now gone. It is unbelievable what can be done with some knowledge, um, professional equipment, and of course, the stuff from G-Technique. So, car's all been paint corrected. It has obviously the crystal serum light, and then of course we topped it up as well. Um, next stage after this is the horrendous steering wheel, the interior and the bogging engine bay. So let us know so far what you think of the, the project and uh, look forward to episode four.